Hi, my name is Leslie Cowan, and I am the director curator of the Camp Lock at Calvary Museum in Campbell, California. The Buffalo Soldiers came actually at the end of the Civil War. Uh, but before we really get into that, you got to look at during the Civil War, there were black soldiers that fought in the Union Army, but they were not part of the regular army. They were part of a state militia, and they were called USCT, U.S. Color Troops. Then after the Civil War was over, all those state militia units went back home. The regular army from the United States were occupying all the southern states to make sure another rebellion didn't start up. Since they had abandoned all the forts out in the western territories, they didn't have enough manpower to replace them because the regular army was occupying the southern states. So they formed four cavalry units and four infantry units. The first two cavalry units were the 7th and 8th Cavalry, which 7th Cavalry with George Armstrong Custer, everybody knows his history. Those two units were all white. The other two cavalry units, the 9th and 10th uh, Horse Cavalry units and the four infantry units were a little bit different. All the officers white, however, all the enlisted were composed of African Americans. In 1866, when they formed the Buffalo Soldier Units, this is one of the units or the uniforms they would wear. Starting out with the cal uh, cappy, and you have the cavalry cross sabers. Sometimes you see like a little bugle up there, that would be infantry. So sometimes you would see little cannons up there, that would be artillery. Then you have the rank, this guy being a uh, regimental quartermaster. You have the belt. This here is a uh, cap pouch, holster, canteen gloves and a saber. So you can kind of see the saber pretty big and pretty heavy. The reason why it's so long compared to regular swords is because they were on the horses and they would have to have a longer sword to hit the, the enemy with. The Buffalo Soldiers fought in many engagements and battles against Pancho Villa and various uh, throughout the whole Indian Wars. From 1866 to 1867 they started training. So the 9th Cavalry was sent to New Orleans and that was their home base start training there. The 10th Cavalry was sent to Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. They were training there. So from 1866 to 1867, they were also, uh, 10th Cavalry was protecting the railroad lines, uh, telegraph lines, and settlers and all that moving west. Along the Saline River, that was when they had their first engagement with Native Americans. Native Americans had never seen black soldiers before. So they originally started calling a black soldier a wild buffalo. The first recorded term of the word Buffalo Soldier was in 1867 when a captain's wife was writing a letter home to her family. When she would talk about a black trooper, she talked about him as being a Buffalo Soldier. So that's how the name kind of came about and it's stuck ever since. Then in uh, 1941, Camp Lockett was established here in Campo, California by the 11th Cavalry. Uh, the Buffalo Soldiers were brought here to replace the 11th Cavalry in 1942. Their mission was to patrol on horseback from here to Calexico, which is south of El Centro, right by the Mexicali, all the way down to the Otay Lakes. They had to patrol the borders. There were no fences back in those days. They'd be out for two or three days on horseback. All right, so this satellite's down right here. This is the last version of the McClellan saddle that was used. So all the soldiers back in the World War II era, including the Buffalo soldiers, would have used this saddle. This here is uh, the typical uniform of a Buffalo soldier. You can notice up here they wear their unit crest up here with this being the 10th Cavalry on it. Some of the other equipment in here are various uh, field equipment that they would use in combat. 45 caliber pistol, which is semi-automatic. Throughout history, the Buffalo Soldiers have been known for their uh, bravery engaging in enemy activities. Um, through the Indian Wars, uh, Buffalo Soldiers have received the Medal of Honor uh, all up through World War II. Matter of fact, the famous Tuskegee Airmen, they are considered Buffalo Soldiers because it was an all-black unit. So, and you can see the record that they have as far as heroism and everything and their uh, courage to fight. You'd be surprised how many people have never heard of the Buffalo Soldiers. And I'm not only talking about just white people, how many black people have never heard of the Buffalo Soldiers because back in the old days they were kept out of the history books on purpose because of the segregation and the prejudices then. So my whole goal here at having this museum is help perpetuate that history of uh, the United States Army Cavalry and 
Buffalo Soldiers and what they contributed to us as a nation. Mm -hmm.